And here in Nigeria, the Chief Justice of the Federation is asking West African leaders to use justice and equity in building a prosperous region for the coming generation. He says that this has become necessary given the economic, political, and leadership challenges engulfing the region at the moment. We have a report. It is a conference of Chief Justices of the Economic Community of West African States. This conference, known as the ECOWAS Judicial Council, is chaired by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukayode Ariwala, who is also the chairman of the council. In attendance are the Chief Justice of Ghana, Gambia, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Cabo Verde, Bene, and representatives of other Chief Justices in the ECOWAS sub-region. Justice Ariwala, who declared the statutory ECOWAS Judicial Council meeting open, challenged West African leaders to reaffirm their commitment to the ideals of justice, equity and solidarity and work together to build a just region. He noted that the ECOWAS Judicial Council, though not widely known like other bodies, has played critical roles in maintaining the rule of law and justice within the region. The objective of this statutory meeting of ECOWAS Judicial Council is to refute the legal framework of the Community Judicial Council and of us suggest areas of improvement. The Minister of Justice, Latif Agbemi, on his part, charged the ECOWAS Court of Justice to pay attention to the peculiarities of member states and refrain from issuing orders and judgments that are particularly incapable of enforcement. Foundational principles of the economic community of West African states are being tested and this reinforces the need. The president of the ECOWAS Commission says the enforcement of judgments of the community court has remained a major issue in the effective delivery of the mandate and responsibility of the judicial institute of the community citizens. Supplementary protocol relating to the community court provides a role for the national judicial institutions in the enforcement of these judgments. The Equal Court of Justice, Abuja, had ordered the federal government to pay 13 million naira to Agba Jalingu as compensation for ill-treating and torturing him while in detention in Cross River States. The court had also in 2016 declared the arrest and detention of former National Security Advisor Sambu Dasuki as unlawful and arbitrary. These and many more are judgments delivered by the ECOWAS court which was not obeyed by the government and some others which subsequently became academic. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.